I am Jason Abraham, the shadow teacher 33, and the mechanical human, the robot that is simply carrying out its routine, its function to uphold the matrix, is built on certain structures in their life, pillars, if you will. But these pillars, these structures, these routines of the robotic human are not support structures that develop the high potential that's capable within that human that would ultimately break them free of being robotic. Those support structures are there to reinforce that robotic human's role in keeping the matrix going. But when one starts to wake up, when one starts to open their eyes and starts to reflect on their conditioning, on their patterns, on the repetitive actions and thoughts that keep a being stuck in this robotic existence. And they start to ask why, and why do I do this? Why am I like this? Does this serve me? And they start to release the negative emotions and feelings of shame, guilt, unworthiness that are associated with being stuck through a meditative process, then that being starts to open up space. Space is open for synchronicity at that point. Space is open for new information to come in that may align that currently robotic being with a different pathway, a pathway that ultimately leads to being more human, expressing more of the creative human potential that is within. But this all starts with a moment of reflection, a moment of asking why. Is this so? Is this true? Is this what I'm destined to be? Why do I do this? And when one starts to open up to new possibilities and starts to untangle that thread of the, the robotic mechanized human that's upholding the matrix, then one, again, is open to these synchronicities and open to new information and open to, to building new routines, new structures, new pillars in their life. But these new structures are supportive of a thriving human, a thriving human being that is free, that can go in the matrix if they choose, but also can go out, but is ultimately the structures that support a being that's alive, it's not this dead, mechanized robot that simply lives the same way day in, day out, and is lost in a slumber that's completely unaware. When, when one's broken free and one starts to, to open up to new information, to a heart-centered calling, starts to get coherent, in the heart, a lot of times just the synchronicities open up. You see people come into your life that continue to open you up more, that open up new possibilities, new connections, opportunities start to show up. And again, with these people and these opportunities, new information, new connection, more resonance, and then you start to learn you know, the, the new pathways and you start to work on being this new version of yourself, the version that is a real human being, a human that's going to have that capacity, that space to express something beautiful, something creative in the world. And this is my work. This is all ultimately the work of the shadow teacher, is to understand how we get stuck and how to 
reconnect with source and open up to the possibility and expression as a free human being. So with that being said, I'm going to end this transmission. Be strong, be well, my friends, and I will see you on the other side.